this problem we have a lot of faculty members who took a survey and a bunch of them were planning to grade papers, watch a game, and or do chores. And the way it's presented, the ones at the top, they only tell us how many are planning to do the individual activities, but what we're gonna do is start at this right here. Eight, plan to grade papers, attend a football game, and do household chores. So that is right in the center of the Venn diagram, there's gonna be eight. All right, so now that we have that, we got 31 who want football and chores. So game and chores. There's 31, which means this part right here, there's 31. But there's already eight there, so we gotta take eight out, and that's 23. So there's 23 right here. <clears throat> and so when we add both of those together, we get 31, which is the number that is circled over here. We're gonna do the same thing with the 56. 56 plan to grade papers and do household chores. So that's papers and chores right here. We have 56. But again, we already have eight accounted for. So what we have left is 48. Eight. So there will be 48. All right, you should do the 28 next exactly the way I just did this. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to finish the bottom circle, which is all just chores. 104. 104 are going to be inside this circle right here. So let's see how many are already in that circle. I have a 48 and an eight and a 23. I wanna add them together. Eight and eight is 16, and three is 19. Five and two is seven, 79. So I already accounted for 79 people. There's 104 total. 104 take away the 79 we already have. Ooh, gotta borrow, not fun. Sorry. Not a 10, you're a 9. Now we have 14 minus 9 is 5. 25. There's 25 left over. All right, if I add up these four numbers here, I should get the 104. Now we're ready to answer some questions. Now clearly I didn't finish this diagram, so there's plenty of questions I cannot answer. So let's see which ones I can answer. How many plan to only grade papers? So what I really focused on is the chores. So let's let's skip down to the one with the chores. How many plan to grade papers or do household chores? Grade papers or do household chores? It looks like I'm going to need the paper number for this. So let's go ahead and get that. Papers. 132 plan to grade papers. Oh, we're also going to need that number there. All right, I guess we'll just finish this diagram. Might as well. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this shape right there. That's papers and football game. Papers and football game is 28. We already have the 8 accounted for. This arithmetic's pretty easy, except I screwed it up. So that should be 20. 20 plus 8 is 28. If I could write 20, 8 is 28. All right, now we have 132 for papers total. So in this circle right here, we have 132, but we already done 20, 8, and 48. 8 and 8 is 16, 3, 4, 76. So I've already got 76, and I have 132 total. Uh, i got to borrow again. It's 2, 12 minus 6 is 6. 12 minus 7 is something else, is a 5, 56. Getting there, last up the game. 113 for the game, but of course we already have... 20 and 8 and 23. So that's 8 and 3 is 11. Carrier 1, 51. But we got 113 
minus 51, 2, 6, 62. So inside that circle, I should have 113. Okay, now we should be able to answer any question. How many plan to only grade papers? All right, only grade papers means, yes, we're in the circle, but only grade papers means don't count any of this right here. So the answer to that is 56. There we go. How many plan to grade papers or do household chores? So a couple ways to do it. Uh, there's only a few only grade papers. How many plan to grade papers or do household chores? So is anybody in this circle is grading papers? Anybody in this circle is doing chores? The only people not grading papers or not doing chores are these 62 people going to the football game. So you just add up everybody, all these numbers in here, you'll get that total, uh, which I don't feel like doing. Uh, but I will uncover the answer. So 180 should be the sum of all those numbers right there. All right. What about how many do not plan to do any of these activities? Number three, I need more information than I currently have. So what information did I not use? It's a little tricky because it's written out. It's not uh, written in numerals. It's written in words. 265. So... 265 total. And how many are in here? Well, we just said there was 180 with 62 that weren't counted. 180 plus 62 is 242 maybe. Yeah, 242. So how many are unaccounted for? We just subtract... 265 minus 242, 3, 2, 23. So there's 23 unaccounted for up here, and that will be this doing none of the activities. All right, number four, how many plan to do at least two? So at least two, it means in this case there's three activities, so they're either doing two or three. Uh, so one way to do it is everybody in this centerpiece right here is doing two or more. So you can add those three numbers up. That's probably the best way to get that. Okay. Number six, how many plan to attend a football game or grade papers, but no chores? Did not plan to do household chores. All right. So chores. Chores are out. What else is out? You have to attend a football game or grade papers. If you're doing nothing, you don't count here for number six. So I got to cross out the people doing nothing, which is these 23. And what we have left, those three numbers added together, will give me the answer to number six. Uh, number seven, how many plan to do at most one of the activities? That's a little bit tricky. At most one, we're going to have to... 23, these are okay. They're planning to do zero activities. So that's zero is less than one. So that's at most one or zero. Uh, now, who's doing one activity? One, two, three. So it's those three groups of, of people are doing one activity and this group is doing zero activities so that those four numbers added together will give you the answer to the last part 